just me so I don't need a big heavy beauty one this pot is meant to be non-stick so let's see if it is non-stick that is lovely look at that this is what I bought from Timu so I can put the sponge inside of it like that just went downstairs to ask about my counter tax and it seems I've been getting mails upon mails upon mails they have a mailbox that is designated to every every resident and I haven't been checking it because I'm used to living at my parents house and they put the mail through the letter box so look at all this junk mail and okay so I think this is the water company I think this is the counter tax that I need not sure what this is Maybe I get some coupons. It's gonna be lost because I've set that up. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply for this now and then I'll give you guys an update later. I think I need to fill out my personal details. And I Can't wait to use them. I think I'm gonna rinse them out first before I try to use them. I thought it was black, but it looks like it's gray. Definitely looking gray. They had like a cream color one, but I didn't know if it was gonna blend in or fit in with the theme that's going on here. So that's why I went for black, but I really wanted to go for the cream one, you know, step out of my comfort zone, as I always say. I think these are more than enough pots for me. I might store them here to store them. Usually, I can also put them in this deep bit, but yeah, I think I'm going to keep them here. I might buy those organizer to put them up like this but I think it would look much neater if they're like this so I might buy those and put them in the Ikea so it definitely fit yep. talking about um, this thing that I put the water on this this is meant to put plates in but I think let me put this here let me see if the pot covers would fit in it. That 
that is lovely. Look at that. That is nice. I might get another one from Ikea. I could even leave them on the counter for aesthetic purposes or they could definitely fit in the cupboard. Let's try. Could put it like that way, and like this way. I think this way would be more ideal just to take them out like that and then store other things there because I don't want this place to be full with things so I could put my dishes there but I love it I love 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 it So 14 eggs can fit into this. Move this one, it should slide down like that. How cool is that? So I can put this back right here. Look at that. And I think I'm just going to leave it here. Just in that corner. Mm, so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Should I, should it be facing sideways like that? But I don't know. I'm gonna cook some eggs now. Anyways, in my new pot. This is what I bought from Timu, so I can put the sponge inside of it. Can this bit come off? Yes, it can. So this is the adhesive bit. And I need to just stick that on the back. Take off. Oh! I forgot which part. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if this part was meant to be on this. And then I'm going to place it right. It can come out. So now, my sponge. Can go in like that when I'm done so I'm just going to rinse this out now so I can use it I'm using this bit well because I'm gonna use this inside of the pot I think I might need some plastic one as well Oh, this is to turn it on. So I'm guessing this one is for this, this for that, that for that, that for that. With its sensor. Okay, so I'm going to turn on. I think I'm going to use this one at the front. Put it at three. Ooh, so that one's up now. First time opening my oil. A little bit, I don't know how much. So I don't have any plates as yet, not plate, no bowl. So I'm going to use this cup and is it working? I'm going to get these are messing up my plates. This pot is meant to be non-stick, so let's see if it is non-stick. Okay, I love this, it's so long, you know.
I don't have black pepper, but I'm putting a little bit of jerk seasoning. I don't normally put seasoning on my eggs anyway. I like my eggs well done, so I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm just going to do it until it's well cooked. I can't open this, so okay. I'm gonna rinse this off just a teeny bit, nothing too much. I know some people put butter. I put butter as well, but not all the time. I'm not going to put butter on this one because I'm going to put bagel and the butter is going to be on the bagel. It's time to unbox this because I'm going to use it now. I'm going to toast the bagel. I got this from Lidl. It was... How much was it? I can't really remember. It's just a two-slice bread toaster. It's just me, so I don't need a big, every beauty one. Nice, nice, nice. Right in there. Put that in. Always forgot to take off. Do my bagel. So these are my bagels. I'm just gonna put them in, down, press up that. Okay, so it just pull up that, but I think I can put it on timer. So I think it was on one minute. You can see right there so now I put it on two minutes and we'll see it's a learning curve guys I've this is the first time I'm buying my own appliances so bear with me I don't have butter knife so I'm gonna use this plastic one Sometimes I would add beans and other things, but today I just can't be bothered. So I'm just going to eat this, drink some juice, and call it a day.